I end up getting in a car accident. A bad car accident, we fly off the road, we like land in this field and we're rolling. And I remember um, during that moment, not once did I think, God, like, I'm so sorry. My name is Valentina. I am 22 years old. I grew up in a Christian household, went to church every Sunday, but um, as I got into high school, well, before high school, I'd like to say that was an angel. Um, I didn't cause, I didn't do anything, but as soon as I got into high school, um, I fell in with the wrong crowd. I started, it started out small, first saying bad words, then started mm -hmm. smoking, drinking and just like experimenting with different kinds of pills and stuff like that. I was at a church camp actually, and um, at that point in my life, I had been living a double life. So at church, I was acting one way, like people saw me as this like good girl, you know, Christian, but outside of that, like with my friends at school, at work, I was living a completely different life. And so this one night I was at a church camp and we had a guest speaker. And so, um, and prior to this, like I didn't know anything about like prophetic, didn't know there's prophets, like nothing like that. I don't know, like maybe I was exposed to it and I just don't remember, but like to my knowledge, I don't remember any of that. And so um, he was preaching and at that point, um, I was dating my ex, um, and I was just so lost, hopeless. Like, I felt so stuck, and at that point in my life, I already felt like I, I had nothing going for me. Like, I thought, well, like, this is, like, that was the end, you know? And so at the end of his sermon, he had an altar call, and I decided to go up, and um, I, did, I went up, and in my head, I just remember saying, like, God, let this man come up and pray for me. If he prays for me, like, everything will be solved. Like, that's all I need. And all of a sudden, my friend comes up behind me, and she, like, whispers in my ear, she's like, Vala, do you want me to ask this man to pray for you? And I was like, yes, please. And so she goes and she asks him, and he comes up to me, and he just starts giving me words of knowledge, like, God knows that you feel worthless. God knows that you feel hopeless. Like, everything I'm going through, he's listing it. And that moment, I knew, I was like, God knows me. Because prior to that, like, you know, like, you hear, God knows you, He loves you, but until, like, hear it for yourself, like, you really take it in, like, it didn't register in my brain. And so, and I just remember in that moment, like, I just started bawling because it was, it was that moment of realization, like, wow, God loves me. He loves me, He knows me, and He is there for me. And that night, after all that, I end up getting in a car accident, a bad car accident. We fly off the road, we like land in this field and we're rolling. And I remember um, during that moment, not once did I think, God, like, I'm so sorry. Like, God didn't even come into my mind, you know? And after that, I was like, what, like, after all that happened, thankfully we were like all fine, everything was okay, but it was just a miracle that we survived. and. I remember thinking after that night, like, God, what would have happened if we didn't survive? Where would I go? Mm. Because, you know, in that mo moment, everything happens so quick. You just, you don't even think about repenting or like, because you think you would, you think you would, but it just, it happens so quick. So that was kind of my breakthrough. And then after that, I decided to uh, start living better, like stop living this hypocritical life. And for me, it my change didn't happen in one night. It was gradual. It took several years, actually. It started very small. First, I broke up with my boyfriend. And then I um, uh, just started like, um, stop smoking weed, stop drinking, and just like stuff like that. And, um, and then I ended up at KDC College. <laughs> you can't live a lukewarm life. You have to choose, are you fully for God or are you fully in the world? And choose one. And in the Bible, it says that you cannot serve two masters. So good. And so like at this point, I think like you, you just need to make the decision. Yeah. Are you with him or are you not with him? So, so good. Yeah, that's how I do. And so I just want to say like, if this is you, 
if you're struggling, if you're living a double life, you're being double-minded, um, come to KDC College, because man, on. this place changed me. Like, I have had so much growth, so much breakthrough. I've learned so many new things, like, that I, had no idea existed before coming here so i would definitely apply and register here yes register so. for kdc global.org and come next year seriously targets your identity and yeah. it targets your mind it targets the renewal of your mind and you're constantly like literally changing you're evolving yeah we're human beings you know yeah we like get to know each other like yeah. wild okay. we become family for sure yeah amen, amen.